Um, it was our client's belief and it is our belief that whatever small measure of peace that he can bring to the Moore family, um, to the Indianapolis Police Department, and to his own family, um, that's what he wanted to do. What about the evidence against no, the evidence against him was not insurmountable. Was there an issue with the gun, and did that encourage the prosecutors to go ahead his plea? Well, I, I'm not going to speak for the prosecutors. I, at the end of the day, Mr. Hardy took responsibility for what he did on the 23rd, and he took that responsibility because he recognized how difficult the trial would be in this case, how difficult the trial would be in this case for the Moore family and for his family. And I think those are factors that play very strongly into his decision, as well as his decision to take responsibility for what he did on the 23rd. But so was there concern that he would get the death penalty? Is this, did he well, Of course this? there was concern he would get the death penalty. The state was asking for the death penalty. It was a death penalty case. Um, you know, we wouldn't have let him plead guilty to the death penalty. Um, that would have been nothing but trouble. It just would have come back from the appellate courts. Um, so sure, you know, we were concerned about the death penalty. Anytime the state asks for the death penalty, you have to presume that they're serious about it. And they were serious about it in this case. And as rightfully so, if you're going to have the death penalty, you know, these are the kinds of cases that you file the death penalty in. But there was a 